Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Taya the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. 
Now, let's see some coin. Find a better price than that. And be thankful you got that much. That's all. Why, well, you're barely a guilty name. You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. an interest, are you? And to sweeten the deal... So whatever you want from them bags over there, but leave the bags. All done. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Help. It sounds like Otto has Don't think I right. haven't noticed. Sid can take some getting used to. But his heart's in the right place. Give him a chance. Sid can take some getting used to. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you into. Ah, a new face. 
and, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. Say no more. I shall make no attempts to coerce you. Ah, a new face. The fat chocobo, for your trouble, I cannot... And I see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Oh, Mew. How long has it been? Thank you, Clive. Now we have three hungry mouths in need of feeding, so you'd best be on your way. Thank you, Clive. Now we have three hungry mouths in need of feeding, so you'd best be on your way. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. It wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting about the place like peas in a bucket. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Here. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. I'd been cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. There's not a day goes by I don't count my blessings. I'd been cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. When lightning struck his yoke. Spent the old morning on these steps. She's not going to heal any quicker with you hovering around like a blood fly. She's not going to heal any quicker with you hovering around like a blood fly. Where to next? For now, we rest and we go. There are far too few of us as it is. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like a little cousin. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one.
yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. When I was very young, Yet, when I arrived, fortunately, you are always welcome at my table. Have you come for a tale? Or perhaps... I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it.
door to the shelves shall ever be open. <laughs> All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the Fat Chocobo. Eat your food while it's hot and see that none... The iron blood were quick to sound the retreat once Titan turned up. Far lot of good that I come of theirs to be. Had so many uses. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. Fuck them for those bruises. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. Is it? <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Say no more. I'll try the next person who comes along. <sighs> ah, you... I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. If you could bring me that wood, I'd be ever so grateful. The lads at the White Ants should be able to help you out.
If you could bring me that wood, I'd be ever so grateful. You another one of said strays? What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. You another one of Sid's strays? You leaving? Already? Well then, stay safe. You leaving? Already? Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and create them with robbers. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Geoffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. All the wood you're likely to need is piled up just over there, ready for Master Jeffrey. All the wood you're likely to need is piled up just over there, ready for Master Jeffrey. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? All the wood you're likely to need is piled up just over there, ready for Master Jeffrey. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. This should be enough to shore things up for a little while yet. Thanks again. This should be enough to shore things up for a little while yet. Thanks again. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may be. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? I heard they escaped their masters. Where to next? For now, we rest and regroup. There are far too few of us. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. She's not going to heal any quicker with you hovering around like a blood fly.
my best work, but it'll do. Anything else? Take your time, eh? Not like we've got anything important to do. Oh, take your time, eh? Not like we've got anything important. To do. Another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. 
You're all right. Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut. Get it, boy! <laughs> What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said that the deadly beast? Well, the shrubs in these parts aren't much better. And you only think to mention this now. I'll take it from here.
after you. Thank you kindly. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. We won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. What is it, boy? One of us knows these woods. Thank you, Togo. I like wolves. 
Sword sharp. You'd better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. Yeah. Still short, but just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. I thought exactly. Yeah, get him, boy! back.
You're... You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh?